Yeah, the signing here today makes Washington the very first state in the nation to have an Amber Alert system for missing indigenous people, something that everyone here today believes has been ignored in this country for far too long. With their culture on full display, Native Americans turn their attention to protecting it and their people. Among the faces in the crowd today, Moni Ordonia, a member of the Tulalip tribe and family friend of a missing Tulalip woman. Family are still, still grieving and still struggling. Mary Johnson Davis disappeared from the reservation a year and a half ago. She is the face of a movement that's now law in Washington. It's law. Governor Inslee signing into law protections and services for indigenous people who are missing, murdered, or survivors of human trafficking. Another law also creates an alert system for missing indigenous people, similar to Amber Alerts for missing children. Washington has the second highest number of missing indigenous people in the nation, and there are four times the number of missing native women here as there are white. State Representative Deborah Lakanoff sponsored the legislation. She's the only indigenous person in the state legislature. She says native women have suffered in silence for far too long. The missing and murdered indigenous Women's bill does something as simple as this. When you remove the hand from the women who are screaming, you will hear the women who have been taken, you'll hear the women who have yet to be taken, and we will tell the women in the future that we'll take care of them. The new laws give people like Moni renewed hope that their loved ones will come home again. So that there can be closure, so that she can. Um, um, give family the peace that she deserves, that they deserve. Governor Inslee says other states are now looking at Washington's new laws to enact them and better protect their own native populations. Live on the Tulalip Reservation, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.